Scott Peterson is moving forward with an attempt to overturn his 2004 murder conviction. You may remember um, that he was convicted some 20 years ago for the murder of his wife and child. Well, he appeared virtually in court today after the Los Angeles Innocence Project took up his case. That nonprofit is Re requesting DNA evidence that it hopes would exonerate him. Peterson was convicted of killing his pregnant wife 20 years ago in, in a case that was really closely watched across the country. CBS News Sacramento reporter Madison Keevy is outside the courthouse and can bring us more. Madison, I know you were inside the courtroom today. What happened? Today was procedural in the courtroom, a hearing that had a lot of housekeeping, but that didn't mean it wasn't interesting. Any other may have been an empty courtroom today, not the case. Nearly every seat full, mostly of media, to follow what's been a more than two decade case here against Scott Peterson. But this one felt different and was different thanks to the LA Innocence Project. We didn't hear from him and we didn't see Peterson in person. He opted to join the hearing from Zoom. He was there electronically. And things got off to a bit of a rocky start because of that. The noise at Mule Creek, which is the state prison that he's currently housed, was so loud. They actually had to put him on mute multiple times during the hearing. And the only time he spoke was when he was asked by the judge if he wanted to continue to come to the next hearings over the next two to three months via Zoom or in person. Every time he opted for Zoom, Makes sense as the last time he was here in person, less than a year ago, another packed courtroom, again with media, multiple cameras in his face. Today, not the case. Now, the LA Innocence Project's focused on what they say is DNA testing that didn't happen 20 years ago. They claim that Modesto Police, as well as the Stanislaus County District Attorney, did not do due diligence. And over the years, we've heard about different pieces of evidence that were never tested. Those came and went, but the LA Innocence Project believes that those are the pieces that need to be brought in and would exonerate Scott Peterson. We talked to a passionate supporter here outside of the courtroom, and she's asking the what ifs, which is exactly what the LA Innocence Project is. What if Scott Peterson is not guilty and Lacey Peterson and Connor, their unborn son's killer, has been walking free? That's the basis of their argument. Today, though, a lot of procedures. This is going to be a month long process that already stretching looks like into July just to get through some of these early motions on what can and cannot be introduced here. Of course, prosecutors are asking the LA Innocence Project for their evidence as well as for witnesses, some of them from Modesto PD back in the day. But the LA Innocence Project says that there's fear of retaliation even still today, more than 20 years later. So there's a back and forth that'll play out in court documents over the next three months for us to find out what can and can't be used in this new case for Scott Peterson. All right, a comprehensive update for us from Madison Keevy there in Redwood City, California. Thank you.